Are you a fitness professional or group exercise instructor that wants to scale your business, reach more people, create digital programs, and ultimately increase your revenue? Maybe you've hit that glass ceiling where you can't teach any more classes. Maybe you can't hire space. Maybe you've just come to your physical limit. And the next logical step is to use your phone and use social media and start filming workouts and programs and technical information and exercise analysis that you can use in programs or service your existing clients and reach a whole new set of potential clients. I'm Rachel Holmes and I've been creating online workouts and videos for 20 years. I started my website Choreography To Go in 2002. I use video every single day to connect with my audience, to reach more people and to grow my business and brand and I highly recommend that that is the way that you do the same and there's never been a better time. It's never been easier. When I first started, I needed to use different cameras and upload to all various servers. It was very complicated. Now all you need is your phone. But the number one thing, the foundational tip that you need is to sort out your storage because you will set up all your videos, you will start doing your workouts. And because these files, these video files are so huge, they'll take up a massive amount of room on your phone and pretty soon your phone will get completely full. There's nothing worse, believe me, when you're right in the middle of filming a workout that's taking you energy, time, emotion, <laughs> and your phone says stop, <laughs> no space available. It is so annoying. So set this up from the beginning and this is how I do it. I use Dropbox every single day. My team log into Dropbox, I edit, I store all my files on Dropbox and they're there on my home screen so I can drag those files. I have them all cataloged in order so I can repurpose and reuse them time and time again. Download the Dropbox app. I'd highly recommend using the paid for. It's very low cost every month, but it will be, and it will set you up to make things so much easier. So firstly, set up your, your area where you're going to film, film your workout, save it, edit it. If you're using an iPhone, I would just highly recommend using iMovie. Shoot for one take if possible. Just cut off the beginning, cut off the end, so you've got a nice tight workout or technical video, and then upload it into Dropbox. So it will then live in Dropbox. You can then delete it from your phone and that will free up all of your space. Then, whenever you want to use it, whether you're going to use it on social media as, as a, a promotion, or you're going to upload it to a group, or whether you're going to upload it to Facebook or Vimeo, it's there. I've got videos that I filmed 10, 15, 16, nearly 20 years ago that all I drag into Dropbox and still use them and repurpose them. So once you filmed, you have got that file forever. So I hope that helps. Please leave a comment. Let me know if that was helpful. And I want to provide you with as much value with these basic tips, taking the pain, <laughs> taking the emotion out of filming your workouts and your technical videos for repurposing in your business. Make sure you subscribe to this video, it's key. Leave me a comment, and if you have any other questions that you would like me to answer in regard to filming videos, workouts for your online business, drop them in the comments below, and I'll do my very best to help.